Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to look at a way to send email with Gmail that is significantly easier and more simple than it has been before using Python 3 and Yagmail. There are multiple benefits of using Yagmail compared to more traditional ways. Yagmail is a Gmail SMTP client that aims to make it as simple as possible to send emails. It also makes it very easy to be more secure while doing this. Yagmail doesn't need you to hold your password instead of a plain text file for authentication like what most libraries have you do. It uses the keyring library to store it securely. Because of these reasons, it is a great alternative if Gmail is the email service that you are using. The Yagmail documentation has more details about this if you'd like to learn more. I'll put a link to that in the description. Let's get started using this. Now before we can actually start using this to write the script, uh, with Google's security settings, you'll need to do one of two things for the script to function properly. You'll either need to allow less secure apps to access your Google account, or preferably you can create an app password for the script. Uh, Google has great instructions on how to do this and walk you through all the pro steps to the process. I'll put links to both of those different ways in the, in the description so you can follow those instructions to get uh, your account ready to go first before we continue. Uh, you'll need to do that first though because otherwise you'll get authentication error when you try running the script. Hopefully you're able to get that step completed and we can start writing the script. Okay, now we're ready to get started building the script. First, we need to install both libraries that we'll need. So we'll do pip install yagmail space keyring. Keyring is needed to store the password. It should install both libraries. And now we can get started with using yagmail. So first, we want to open up a Python interpreter. So I'll do that here by typing Python. You might need to type Python 3, depending on what operating system you're using. And this should open up this prompt. From here, we'll type import yagmail, enter, and then we'll type yagmail.register, and then we'll type in your Gmail username, we'll go here, in quotes, comma, space, your Gmail password will go here, comma, space, here, and we enter and s submit that into the key ring. Now we will have our username and password in a place where we can access it without having to write it directly into the script. So now we have that done, let's go ahead and jump over to a text editor and start writing the script. So first let's just set up what we're going to do. So first we'll import Yagmail. And then down here we'll start setting up what we're going to write. So we're going to write three functions doing this. We'll write a function here which will be write txt file. And we're going to use this function called def write file to create a txt file to, to attach to our email so we can send an email with an attachment. Uh, it would be very simple. We're not going to go really in depth with that. Just so we have something that we can send as an attachment. And then down here, we want to add our send mail function. So we'll write a function. We'll call it send mail. And for now, let's pass in a couple parameters to address, subject, contents. And so this two address right here will be the receiving address for the email. This will be the subject. And then this will be the body of the email. And then finally, we're going to create a function called main. And this will just run both the functions. And then down here at the bottom, we'll write if name equals main colon. And then we'll put main. Now what this is doing here is we're calling the main method that we wrote above if the file is ran directly. So if we run this file directly, this name value will be set to main, and then this main function will be ran. If we import this into another file and then run it, this name value will be set to script, which will be called our file here, and not main, so this will not run and it will not run our, it will not call our main method. There's a lot of videos on YouTube if you want more explanations or some more examples of how that works, if that doesn't quite make sense. Now let's go ahead and write our write file function. So first we'll go ahead and we'll create a list of numbers. So I'll write numbers equals and we'll just put some random numbers two four six eight ten twelve so 
down here, we'll write a with open line. So instead of having to open the file and then close it like you normally would with IO and Python, we'll use a with open. So we don't need to worry about closing the file at the end. So we'll type with open. And we'll give it a name. We'll put data.txt. This hasn't been created yet, but it will once we write to it. Uh, and it will go into our working directory. And it will put, give it a mode. We'll type w for write. And it'll put as file. So now we can access this file with the variable name of file. And then down here, we'll create a simple for loop. We'll put for num in numbers. And we'll do file.write. And then we need to convert it to a string. So we'll type str and then pass in our num variable there. Now this will just write each of these uh, numbers here to the file. So we'll have a file with these numbers in it um, that we'll attach to our email. And that is it for that function. And now we'll write our send mail function. And you'll see just how easy this is to do with the YAG mail. We'll type YAG equals YAG mail dot SMTP. And then here we'll pass in our email. So in quotes as a string. So we'll type in email at gmail.com. And then the next line we'll type YAG dot send. And we'll pass in our parameters. So we need a receiving address to address. We need a subject, subject, and we need a body, which we call contents. And all we're doing here is just taking these parameters that we're going to pass into this function and pass it into this function down here uh, to send the email. And that is it for a basic YAGML email. Uh, to come down here, we'll go ahead and call both those functions. So we'll call write file. And first, I'm going to go ahead and just save that and run that. Just make sure our file is writing correctly. And then we'll come here. And here's our data file right here. And there's our numbers. So that's working correctly. And now we can go ahead from here. We can go ahead and call our uh, send mail function. And we'll pass in an email. This is our receiving email. And we'll pass in a subject. And we'll pass in some contents right here. And if all you need to do is send text and an email, you're done. You can go ahead and save that and run that. And that will send an email. Now, if we want to go ahead and send an attachment, so we want to go ahead and attach this data file, we make one small change to this to make that work. Up here in our send mail function, add one more parameter. We'll call it attachment. And then we need to pass it down here into our send function, right? Attachment. And then down here, we need to pass that file name into our function. So this is going to our working directory, finding a file named data.txt, then attaching it to the send method here uh, to send it with the email. And that's it. That's all it takes there with Yagmail to send an email. And that is it for this tutorial. As you can see here, using Yagmail makes it very easy to send emails using Gmail. Uh, there's more functionality we could add to this. We could pass in uh, BCC or CC parameter as well. Uh, you can add multiple senders. You can use OAuth2 to authenticate it more securely. Uh, you can go read the documentation and the description for Yagmail to, to read on what else they could do. Hopefully this helps get you up and running with this as quickly as possible. This is a great way to add email functionality to a web application very quickly with a minimal amount of extra code involved. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.